Hi, so Dynamite is becoming BTS's most successful single in the US thus far, as evidenced by the two week reign in the number one spot of Billboard and on the third week they're at number two. Um, the haters loved it. Haters loved it. They didn't love the song because it's perfect. They loved it because they finally were able to criticize BTS at something. They were quick to run towards BTS and castigate them and accuse them for selling out. Because at some point, BTS did say that they, were, they weren't they were ever going to sing an English song and that they will always participate in the production of the songs that they're singing. And so when BTS decided that they were going to do an English song and actually not participate in the creation of it, everyone said, you're selling out, you see? Your dignity just so you can have the number one spot in Billboard Hot 100. And so... The question is, did they actually sell out? Thank you for actually asking for my opinion about this. I value that a lot. I think one of the things that people fail to recognize is the fact that BTS, especially the three pillars, are artists themselves and they take a lot of pride in the fact that they participate in the creation of the songs and that they're singing their own emotions and that all the songs that they're singing about is uh, sorry all the songs that they're singing is actually about them so they take pride in that and even bang shiyuk in the paper the harvard business paper he actually mentioned it that he promised that bts will always be singing their own words and their own emotions and so for bts to take one song to look at one song to hear one song and say there's absolutely nothing we can do to make that song better. That's a lot of maturity. That's It shows just how much they have evolved as artists, that they are able to look at a piece of art in and for itself and not actually have their own pride blur their judgment. People fail to recognize how much of a man they have become to admit that. To say that there is nothing that they can do to make it better. Because that's essentially what they said. That the perfect is that the song is perfect as it is. And and they would rather sing the song as it is because they know that that's the right thing to do. That move shows that BTS was really thinking about number one, the art and the army which is essentially whom they have dedicated the song to those are the two things they they thought about and not they did not allow their pride they did not allow their reputation or their fear of being accused for for selling out to get in the way of the right decision so that's one just the insane amount of maturity from from bts to be able to say that Namjoon already explained that they were on their way, they were thinking of doing something else, which is producing their own album. This is something special because everything came from them. The concept, the major decisions, everything's good, you know, they've, they're the project managers. And they've actually allowed um, armies an uh, incredible amount of access into the creation of this album. That's what they were they, they were concentrating on, but then the song was offered to them. So the creator of the song, that's the composer and the producer, actually gave out an interview. And if I'm, if I'm correct, he did say that he heard from Colombia that they were looking for a summer song and he had that summer song. It wasn't clear to me whether he wrote the summer song after hearing about Colombia's um, call for for new songs or he already had it and then heard it her heard that colombia needed the song and submitted it that part is not clear to me so does this mean that it was colombia's initiative to give bts a song i again i don't know that's beyond me they didn't mention that part so, you know that's always a possibility maybe it was colombia's initiative uh, but then again, we don't know the kind of relationship that Big Hit actually has with Colombia. We know that Colombia is the distributor, but whether or not they work outside of the confines of being distributors and source of the product that is being distributed, we don't know.
if we backtrack a little bit more, we'll, we will remember that BTS has been talking about how depressed they are for not being able to perform in concerts, see the armies um, go and tour around the world. There is so much for them to achieve. There's a lot that they want to do, but they couldn't do it. And so they themselves, like most of us, are going through depression. And when they heard the song, at some point, they all felt like, okay, you know, if we're going to wallow in the sadness and allow ourselves to be beaten by COVID-19, nothing's going to happen. And so that's when they decided, let's do something for the armies, you know, let's do something for everybody else, actually, everyone that need help, let's do something. And so they decided to do it in the best way that they can, which is through music. And so this is the result. They, want, they had the intention to help. The song landed in their on their lap and so they decided let's do it you know let's do it this is not what we were planning to do but this is an opportunity for them to give hope through their music and so they did it i don't think those words are rm's voice and i don't think there's any other way there's i don't think there's a better way of explaining their decision but that So the short answer to the question is no, they, they didn't they didn't actually, they didn't sell out. I think they simply evolved. They're coming into that state of their career and state of mind where, where they are very confident, very secure of who they are, of what they have achieved. And that they're just concentrating on creating more, creating more songs, creating more art, instead of being conscious about what are people gonna say if we do this? What you know? What are the cons? They, that's something that they don't think about anymore. They would rather think about the things that they want to do more in terms of singing, in terms of performance, in terms of their art, music, and with each other. So, I think it's a healthy, it's a healthy attitude to finally get to that, to have that sense of security, of knowing that you you've done great you know that you've done great you've proven yourself and there's nothing else to prove sure you can continue dreaming but there's nothing else to prove because that allows them to just concentrate really they are concentrating on their craft and that's why they keep on producing masterpiece after masterpiece after masterpiece Getting the number one spot in Billboard Hot 100 though is a great help. Not just it's a huge step, not just for BTS, but for all other K-pop artists and most Asian artists. Although BTS have been proving, continuously proving their bankability, their artistry, there there's still that last frontier of being taken seriously as artists rather than just as manufactured products getting into billboard hot 100 though means number one that radio is playing their song and that is essentially delivering the song to the general public in the u.s that actually gives asian songs and korean songs in particular a good reputation among radio decision makers dynamite is just a perfect song it's i like rm i can't think of a single way that can be better it's a perfect song it's a great beat um i've always believed that a great song is something that you can play with nothing but a guitar and a vocalist and it would still sound just as great even what as it does with with all of these instruments and all of these layers and that's just what dynamite is it's catchy the lyrics is the the lyrics just perfect everything is perfect that in itself becomes the reputation i would say of korean artists in particular and asian artists in general among radio decision makers because then because because of the perfection of dynamite and that. now radio stations once they encounter another korean performer or a korean song buying for a spin it's easier for them to give it a shot to give it a listen rather than automatically ignoring it which is what happened essentially with bts in the past before dynamite 
radio stations were ignoring them. But now, because of that, because of Dynamite, Dynamite has helped establish a reputation for, for Korean artists in particular and Asian artists in general. So, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of benefits. There's a lot of artists that will benefit from, from the sacrifice that, that, BTS, that BTS made. It will impact it in a way that the decision makers, the voters, the Grammy voters would at this point have heard of BTS and the kind of music that they've come to make in the past and the kind of bankability that they have, you know, the reputation that they have. It will help in that respect. Whether or not, because remember, Grammy is not just voting, it's not just composed of 10 executives or 20 experts or, or 100 experts that make decisions as to who should be nominated and who should win. The voting body is composed of thousands of people. And so if you want to get nominated and if you want to win, all this voting, the, the voting members, the majority of them would have to believe and make a decision that you're the best one and that you should at least get nominated if not win. Uh, that being said, the success of Dynamite will help establish their reputation among the Grammy members because everyone's always looking at the charts, whoever gets to number one. Remember, even the most pop, there are a lot of popular Western singers who never got uh, a number one in Hot 100. And so everyone's always looking at that spot and BTS occupying that spot for two, two weeks in a row and getting to number two on the third week. That would should get the attention of the voting public, whether or not they will actually be willing to nominate BTS if not make them win is an entirely different story. There's a lot more things that could play into that decision. There's maybe racism, we don't know, stereotypes. Maybe it's just simply not the preference that they have when it comes to music. Maybe they have their own, their own dog in the fight, I don't know. So it will impact Grammy in that respect. So by now, we can assume that majority of the voting public would at least know who BTS is. But I think the biggest um, achievement, yeah, can we call it an achievement? I think the biggest achievement of BTS yes, oh. via Dynamite is the bar that it sets. It's now very obvious that that you know they, that's it they've they've reached the peak there may be most likely other artists other korean artists that will get to number one they will probably have more number one songs than bts but bts will will always be the first they were the ones who opened the door they were the ones who broke the wall not many would be willing to admit it but that's the fact they were the first one to get to number one and so that is now the standard you know that that is now the standard for korean artists they've already they've already proven that it can be done so there's no more excuse no more excuse but that also puts a lot of pressure on themselves because they've done it once with an english song that they didn't write if they aren't able to do this again there will be a lot of haters that will claim you see you were only did it because you sold out, but you can't do it again. And so it's two ways. The pressure is on other Korean performers, those who are who are dreaming of actually getting into the international market. The pressure is on. BTS has already proven that it can be done. So if you're not able to do it, no excuse. Absolutely no excuse. On the other hand, it's also pressure to themselves. So they've done it once with an English song that they didn't write. They don't do it again. You can expect a lot of haters coming at them. Well, I guess even if they do it again, there will always, always be haters, but you get my point. And that's it. I'm eagerly waiting for the next album of BTS. And I'm still streaming Dynamite. <laughs>